In this video, we're going to show you how to take data that is collected via the sensor input for the DM10 data module and have it appear in Dashware. We're going to use the throttle position sensor data today for our example, but this would apply to any data that is, or any sensor that is plugged into the sensor input on the DM10 data module. You'll see in this video, initially when we show the data, all we see is the RPM, but we're not seeing anything on the throttle bar. To correct this, we want to make sure that Dashware sees the input that is in the data set. To do this, we go into the File menu and choose Edit Data Profiles. We're going to choose our default Chase Cam profile. And we're going to open up our data set just to have something there for reference. You can see that the data profile editor automatically sees the header row in green and highlights the data in yellow below. What we want to grab is the millivolts column, which is the column that's used to grab the external sensor data in the DM10 data module. We're going to make a clone of this profile and rename it ChaseCam TPS2. Once we do that, we want to apply a linear interpolator to the millivolts column. To do that, we hit the plus sign on calculators and converters and choose linear interpolator. Then click add. Here we choose the input value, which will be our millivolts column, and we create a name for the output value. Here we'll use interpolated millivolts. You'll see we have a new calculator converter at the bottom of our list. Now we need to assign interpolated millivolts to a data piece. In order to do that, we go to column mappings and add a new column mapping. For our input data column, we choose interpolated millivolts. And for our column mapping, we go to steering throttle brakes and choose throttle position. After we hit add, we can see that we have a new column mapping in our column mappings column. Click OK because we're done with the data profile editor for now. In order to make the new data profile take effect, we need to remove and re-add the data and video pieces. We choose our video file just like we did before and click yes when it offers to extract the embedded data. Now we'll choose our new data profile, ChaseCam TPS2, and click Add. As always, we're asked for the number of cylinders, and the data and video is added. Now when we click on the Play button, you'll see the throttle moves as it should. Again, you can use this method to connect any type of sensor via Dashware that you've connected to the DM10 to the sensor input.